Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the lab color mode. And I bet a lot of you haven't even heard of uh, the lab color mode. And it's uh, unique. It was developed in France, and it's an old system. But it has some cool features to it that you can use to um, professionally edit your photos, and especially stock photos. So let's get into this. Now, all you need to do is um, grab a photo, uh, preferably maybe like a stock photo or something that's been edited already, and come up to image and go to mode and just click on lab color. You, can, um, you don't have to do anything before you change it to lab color. So when you do that, um, go ahead and come over to your channels and you'll see that you got some new channels. We got lab, which is everything combined together, We've got lightness, which is basically a grayscale channel. We've got A, which is um, red to green channel, so you can see some green in there and you can see some red. And it looks, ooh, it looks creepy in there. And then uh, we got the uh, B channel, which is um, blue to yellow. So you can see blue down here and then you can see yellow. And as we start adding these together, we're starting to get our lab. So let's start with the lightness. Let me turn all this other stuff off real quick so we can see how they add together. So we got our lightness and then let's add in the A. You can see it's adding color. Then let's add in the B. You can see it added in the final color so we get our final image. So um, one of the good things about using lab color mode is that it's good for moving between operating systems. So if you're working on Photoshop on a Mac and you go to like your client's house or something like that. He only has Photoshop on a PC. Well, you can bring, you can make the image a lab color mode. It'll preserve the colors for you, and it'll open up just fine on the other uh, Photoshop on the PC. So that's awesome. And because of the ability to separate out gray tones into the individual lightness channel here, pretty much the lab color mode is good for sharpening or increasing contrast of an image without uh, without changing the colors so that's awesome a lot of times when you take or when you edit photos for someone who's a photographer they are very particular about their colors because they worked really hard to get the particular uh, colors within their image sometimes so if you ever get one of those work in the lab color mode so let's uh, go ahead and show you what I mean Go to uh, lab, make sure all your channels are on. Let's go to image, adjustments, and let's just go to levels. And make sure that your channel here is on lightness. And just for uh, being quick, let's uh, put on a preset and we'll just go to increase contrast. And I found that increase contrast three works the best for trying to show what I want to show. All right, hit okay. So I want to show you what I mean when you can increase the contrast of the image without changing the colors. So let's go ahead and um, apply the uh, levels adjustment to the lightness layer. So select your lightness layer and we'll go to image adjustment and levels. And for the sake of being quick, um, we're just going to use a preset. Now you, can, you should only be able to check lightness if you only have the lightness channel picked. And we'll just pick up something like increase contrast two and or increase contrast one or three or something like that. Whatever you feel like looks the best. And then you can preview here how much the contrast is increased. I'll hit OK. And then I'll look here and see that the contrast has been increased. Now let's uh, check it out, the differences here. So there's the difference in contrast. All I did was go to my history panel and I'm going back and forth to uh, the two things that I, or the step that I just did. So that's how you increase the contrast, and um, if you try to do it when you have the like la everything selected, and I go to image, adjustments, levels, and I go to try to increase the contrast, it's not, it doesn't work, as you can see. Nothing's in getting increased, um, so, I mean, it doesn't really work. So, that's how uh, lab color mode is used. It's uh, pretty good for 
the main thing that is I, I would the two main things I would say just to remember about lab color mode is that it's good for sharpening the lightness channel or making contrast on the lightness channel and then also um, moving from PC to Mac or Mac to PC within Photoshop or other programs as well it doesn't just have to be with Photoshop so thanks for watching this tutorial hopefully you guys learned a lot and I'll see you in the next one have a good day everybody